Hey, bumblebees. <laughs> I wish I had sunglasses because uh, I look so tired, but hey. Um, I'm actually stopping. Why am I stopping? Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta get cash. Okay, so I was just cruising. I just left the farm and I just wanna, I guess, say <laughs> That less than 30 days ago, I was ready and had made peace with dying. <laughs> I knew I was dying. It just, you couldn't tell me different. After all me and Karen, my Oompa Loompa went through, her mostly, um, she got me into rehab. I go to rehab. I'm devastated. I've tried to leave and escape the thing three times. Sorry. Uh, it's just funny when you look back. It's just, it really is. And I don't want to miss this vulnerable opportunity that I'm feeling right now with my cool brace on. I'm getting ready to go get Max. Stop. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, remind me to tell you what went down with Rocky and if you don't know who Rocky is you need to maybe go back and see the video I posted I, I don't think it was it wasn't a short so it would be under videos anywho so we get into rehab for the very and and it, it's so funny for the very first time in my life without asking for someone's consent or approval or opinion or advice, I took Wendy's heart's advice. I listened to me in my body. I knew that if I didn't, that was gonna be the end of me. And nobody in that moment really understood what I was feeling. So, I was like, I have failed so many times because I did not trust in myself. I'm this close to death. I'm tired of being insane. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the one I never did. And that was believing in Wendy. And, and it saved my life. And if you're new here welcome um uh definitely i think in the last few videos uh, they weren't live they were just videos uh you could kind of figure out a little bit what's going on but i'll explain more later um and then i'm in a hospital bed for 15 days because i decided that enough was enough and I am now like, I don't know, almost full circle. And through the betrayal, through the heartache, through the lies, through the haters, I love you though, through the physical pain, the cutting of my body, the bleeding of my body, making a decision that terrifies me, but I decided I wanted to live and I want to, I want to live. And it's just always being in the forest, I guess. And in those moments I see now, because I said, if I told God, I said, God, if you get my mom a job, you get my doctor's approval to go to rehab, and you actually have Karen succeed in getting me into a rehab that, I don't know how she did it. I don't want to know, it sounds very boring. But she did it, and he answered one, two, and three. And I said, and I told my mom, I think I told Karen too, I will, I will never, 
I will try my hardest to never, ever, ever doubt my God again. And I tell you, just like that, he threw thousands of tests at me. <laughs> he just, it was almost like I was on, not that I am, you know, you know, you get it. It was like every lie, every, I was being thrown at stones and being lashed and, and it, it was humiliating and I was trying to be strong and he put me through it. <laughs> and I ain't saying God ain't going to put me through it again because that's life. That's excitement that's how much do you really believe in your faith and I don't quite know what it is but I feel it and it saved my life and like I said before I will not I will try my hardest because I don't want to be ignorant and say that I can predict the future but I will try my hardest to never ever doubt my Lord, my Jesus, my God, my soul, my soul, my my universe, whatever it is to me, my God. It kind of makes what you're going through a little bit easier. And it gives you appreciation. And I really feel grateful what I'm in so much pain right now I get to go get my Maxwell I have just enough money to pay my bills to get through I have food in my fridge provided by my parents I I I have the money to pay uh, to watch Max um, I have gas in my car. I have you guys. You guys have been praying so hard and look what became of it. I'm so grateful. Everything worked out just as he promised. So I'm gonna go now because uh, I just said I just wanna pull over real quick. Um, look in the way that I do because I love this. I love me. Don't get it twisted. I love me. And I'm going to run in here, get some cash, and I'm going to go pick up Maxwell. And I will let you know later how the reunion went between Max and I. I'll let you know later about Lola and what happened. I'll let you know about Rocky the Raccoon. Go watch that video. Um... And yeah, I'll touch base with you guys later. Um, thanks for all the love, the support, the prayers, the lovers, and the haters. Because I used to be one of those. I sure did. I love you guys so much. Make a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you're inspired, please share this. Let people know that we can get through this. And never once did I have to go through it alone. And never should anybody have to go through it alone. And I just wanted to say that I had the, was like the best hospital experience you could really have. Like, I did not come across one. I came across one. But she was, it's just because she was so loud. I thought she was just like all intense. But, um, oh my gosh. I, I, it was, I had, I had to set healthy boundaries because I wanted to take them all home. So, uh, yeah, I may have gave my number away. It's fine. To the women, whatever. So anyway, I love you all and I will stay in touch. Uh, for those that are going through it, prayers going up and trust in your faith. Make good choices.